Right, first thing guys, something here, it's called a checklist. You always want to fill this out. It's pretty much the it's pretty much the condition that the forklift is in, making sure everything is working properly. You want to do a walk around, making sure nothing's leaking, none of these hoses are here, making sure the the teeth isn't chipped up on the lift. Um no oil dripping. No battery acid running anywhere, things like that. So what you would do is usually what they'll look for. You get on the lift, you lift it up, make sure none of these hoses here is leaking or anything like that. No oil. So you want to work. Um, safety lights work because you can see that blue light there. And if I put it in reverse, you can see that light there. So on um, this light up here flashing, you need that. And also this plate right there that tells you everything about this lift. Everything you need to know is on that plate. Every forklift you operate should have that plate. Get on the lift. You want one hand here? One hand here. And then you go up. It's called three points of contact. That's what you want every time you get on the lift, and that's what you want every time you get off the lift. Same thing when you get off the lift. Three points of contact. Step number two, always wear your seatbelt. Before you even cut the lip on most of the time, put that seatbelt on. Seatbelt. And just to remind y'all for the people who wasn't paying attention to the first video, this is the first lever. Here. This you pull this, it lifts it. When you pull this first one, it lifts it. When you push it, it lifts it down. It's my, my favorite thing to say. Lift it down, baby. When you pull this one, it tilts it. It brings it up. It brings it down. Brings it up. Brings it down. This one here, it shifts it. Sh shift the whole mass. See? This is the third level. And this fourth level here, lift it up for y'all. Let me show y'all what this This fourth level, it does. It pushes the forks closer together. Get y'all at a better angle. Two. Anytime you go back, put it in reverse. And before you actually start the bag up, you want to physically look back. While you're bagging up, you want to be looking back. Okay, look back. So, anytime you're coming up to an intersection or crossing, like this here, you want to stop, beat the horn before you leave out, and then continue. Remember, stop, beat the horn, and then continue. So when you're picking up a load, you want your forks evenly dispersed on each side so you don't get the tilt that way or tilt this way so evenly dispersed most likely one fork is going to go right here the other one going to go right here and another thing you want to try not to do you try you want to try not to pick it up too high or, or keep the load elevated while you're driving again it's square flush straight in the middle the pallet, the pallet is back to here. The pallet is back to here, which is the mask. And again, the the height off the ground. It's about that high. That's about how you need it off the ground. Let me show you something improper. This is improper. Traveling, traveling with a load this high. There's no reason for it to be that high. You only need three to four inches off the ground. This is too high. There's so nobody on the lift right now. So when you're off the lift and your forks is like this, you will fail your test. You need your forks flush on the ground because these are trip hazards. So don't need that. Forks on the ground. Just like that. 
cuts corners too short let me explain this guys all right these are the post defenses if i'm going to the left with the lift i will want to be right here because the lift swing out with the back so i guess right here then i start swinging out now if i'm too close to this pole then the butt of the forklift is going to hit this post so if you're turning left you want to be kind of closer to this post and then turn left now complete opposite if you turn to right exact same thing you want to be closer to this post turn to right now if you try to turn right here and you're going right the butt of the forklift is going to hit this post and that's not going to be there anymore or it's not going to look the same ever again so be careful on this specific lift on this specific lift we do not have an engine paddle we do not have that the neutral looking paddle the engine paddle only thing it does is disengage the transmission and um, when you push down the engine paddle and you press gas it also lifts it faster on propane's lifts not sure about electric but i know on propane hey guys sure. so say if i had a load and it was say this tall it blocks my vision driving forward what you would want to do well anything that you cannot see over what you want to do is drive backwards that's your key drive backwards anytime your load is too high in front of you drive backwards putting pallets all the way on the forks you want the pallet to go all the way back here you don't want the pallet here you will fail the test. You want the pallet all the way back as far as you can get it on the fork. Okay, with this pallet, what I do, I pick it up first, then I tilt it back just a little bit. It's kind of hard for you guys to know that if you're not actually driving, but still easy. Disturb other loads. Like I said, if I'm picking up this pallet, I can't touch that pallet or I can't touch that box. You'll, that will make you fail the test. Um move too far with the low elevated if i pick this pallet up uh, you see how far it is off the ground if i pick it up and as soon as i have enough clearance to drop it i want to drop it i want to drop it immediately if i have it clear you don't want to never travel with the load in air or with your forks raised and also you cannot hit the rack this right here you cannot hit this that up there you cannot hit the rack and this right here does a good job at damaging racks so y'all be careful with that mask. Improper mounting, does not use seat belt, fails to look behind before bagging up, cuts corners too short, cuts corners too wide, doesn't blow horn or slow down at intersections, and properly using the engine powder most won't even have. Carries forks or loads too high, does not keep body parts within running lines of fork truck, does not position unit properly when entering pallet, Load not squarely on pallets. Load not back as far on the forks. Does not raise forks first, then tilt back. Does not tilt forward before entering load. Moves too far with load elevated. Disturbs other loads. Hit storage rack. Raise forks while moving. Lower forks while moving. Fork tips park too high. And proper dismounting. Seems irresponsible or unsafe. Appears overconfident, that's me right there. Appears excessively nervous. Last but not least, tendency to hurry. Guys, this is the whole test I just went over for y'all. If y'all got any questions, let me know. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for y'all. But remember, always pick it up and lift it down.